Welcome back to the channel guys. It's your boy Alien and we back today with another video for y'all man So y'all I'm just knocking out a lot of videos today because I have a lot to cover before I get to work So today it's just gonna be a recap video Today is Thursday the December 4th and this past weekend has been crazy Tell you guys that because there's been so many releases Fire Red 4s, Yeezy Onyxes, the 380 joints they had the gold mids, the black and metallic highs. They had a mocha restock. And yeah, man, it's just it's just been crazy. And today's just a recap of the weekend. I do apologize. I didn't bring a vlog for you guys. I already stated that in those um, shoe reviews. If you guys missed the black and metallic review, it's up there. Um, make sure y'all go check that out. I gave y'all my resale prediction and everything on how I think the shoe looks. Also for the Fire Red 4s, those came out, I got them early, but I picked up a good amount of pairs again, and I'm gonna cover those as well in this video, but that video is up there as well. Um, on foot, thoughts, resale predictions. Y'all yeah, make that. Yeah, make sure y'all check that out. And yeah, man, so let's just break down everything that I bought this weekend. As you guys saw from the thumbnail, it's, it's a good amount of shoes and yeah, and I'm gonna break down why I copped every single one of these sneakers, you feel me? I'm gonna give you guys a quick little rundown again, just because, you know, I mess with y'all. So look, we have right here, the mochas on the side, um, along with metallic, along with the metallic blacks. And then over here we have the Fire Red 4s, and then over here we have the black, no, the white metallic gold joints. So, yeah, man, as you guys could see, I bought a lot of pairs. So, let's just hop into the quick breakdown and I'm gonna give you guys a quick little synopsis of each shoe. So, right here, we have the Mochas. Um, quick little restock. If you guys are in the New York City area, you guys know that a lot of full lockers have restocked these. There should be more restocks today. I'm gonna try to get this video out as soon as possible so you guys can check your local full lockers, you know what I'm saying? And it's just good information. So for the mochas, um, I copped eight pairs yesterday. Uh, bought some for like a little over resale. And yeah, as you guys can see, I'm, bring, I'm showing you guys the sizes and everything. So mochas, man, mochas, super clean shoe. Um, is this shoe of the year? I honestly don't know but it is a very clean shoe. I'm gonna go pick up some more pairs today. So yeah, here's the mochas. This is a size eight. Picked up a lot of other sizes. I might be keeping this size nine for myself. You guys let me know what's up. But you guys already know the deal with mochas. They are a good reselling shoe. They go for like 400, so, or like 380, whatever. So you guys do the math. Not really much to say about mochas. Self-explanatory. But as for an update on to hold or to sell, I would just, just suggest just selling them now because you could always get your hands on more, you feel me? That's one thing that my boy Angel taught me. Um, He always taught me to like, yo, just sell your shoes now, get your money, and then you can always buy more in the future. And I'm like, yeah, that's a fact, so yeah. And then the next shoe we have right here is the metallic, wrong shoe, wrong shoe. Next shoe we have right here is the metallic black and gold ones, the black metallic and gold ones. Um. This pair right here, man, I picked up, I don't know, probably like 15 of these and then more are coming in online. So a lot more of like these shoes are coming in online, online. like the Fire Red 4 is from Foot Size didn't get shipped yet. The metallic gold mids didn't get shipped yet. The, these didn't get shipped yet. So I still got like about 30 more pairs coming in. So it's gonna be a busy holiday season, man. So this pair right here, as you guys can see, I picked up about 10 to 15 pairs. I don't even know the top, the number off the top of my head. But yeah, quick little update on these. I covered it in my last video. So like I said, please go check that out. But buy these at retail if you can. I don't think this is a bad shoe at all. Just look at um, gold Jordan 1s in the past. They all do pretty good. So not a bad shoe at all. So I would suggest you guys go take a look at my video and to see what you guys want to do in terms of buying this shoe and check your local full lockers because they might still have pairs in store 
so make sure you do that and if there's any restocks i'll let you guys know for sure make sure you guys follow the instagram down below um if i'm at a full locker and i know about any information i usually let you guys know if you if i mess with y'all you feel me so now for the next shoe we have the fire red jordan 4 super super classic shoe i broke this down many times um in my video up there you know what i'm saying i don't think i could input videos like throughout but if you guys know what i'm talking about jordan 4s are a classic shoe for me um my favorite silhouette but i picked up these i picked up around 20 pairs i believe and even more online i already sold some um but there's more coming in online try to get like a full size run because you don't know what size people are so you want to keep you guys like safe so just in case somebody asks for a 10 and a half and they need an 11 you can give them an 11 you feel me but yeah picked up a lot of parodies i already said i'm gonna be buying a lot of pairs of fire red 4 gs i see a lot of girls liking these man and then once girls start liking a pair and it blows up you guys already know it's, it, it's only going up you feel me it's only going up oh. all right and then the last shoe i really picked up this weekend um before we get into the last shoe also picked up the easy the easy onyxes picked up 10 pairs of these these are coming in online i paid under retail so like i said if i'm paying under retail like 203 a pair these are not a bad hold i just did a review on these as well along with an on foot so you guys make sure y'all go check that out and give you guys a quick little uh resale breakdown as well on these going forward but what you guys think about this shoe man comment down below what you guys think about the shoe and then the last shoe right here that I picked up for the um the weekend is the metallic gold mids. I personally think this shoe is gonna do really good because just because like um if you guys know the Kawhi Jordan ones, uh those are crazy and it's white and silver. This one's white and gold. So I picked up this pair, I picked up about like 40, maybe 50 pairs. Um, as you guys can see the sizes right there Mo Mainly small sizes and GS sizes I went after like nine and a half and below and GS sizes because there's no really point of copying You know super hot big sizes if people are not gonna buy them so yeah, I have about 20 more pairs of these coming in through the mail and Yeah, I believe these are the hold of the year if you guys are into investing sneakers I would suggest you guys buy these right now and to hold because these are only gonna go up in my opinion you feel me and it's not that bad of a investment it's like retail if you're getting for retail it's a hundred a hundred dollars for the gs and 125 for the men like that's a lot better to hold on to shoes if you guys like doing that as compared to um buying like other shoes for resale at like 300 like i know a lot of people that buy royal tools at like close to 300 like that's that's a lot of money to be invested in you feel me and yeah also, I picked up two pairs of Kobe's um, just to show you guys that, you know, other stuff that I picked up. The alternative Bruce Lee joints right here, white, black, and um, yellow. And I also picked up the white and gold pair. Uh, and then I also picked up the plastic Bruce Lee colorway right here. This is the yellow and gold. So, yeah, man, that covers everything for this video all my pickups for this past weekend if you guys enjoy these little update videos of my reselling and stuff like that just leave a like leave a comment um this is more of like a day in life and stuff like that if you guys like vlogs i have some vlogs coming but sometimes i just be so busy that i be forgetting you feel me so that's the end of this video hope you guys enjoyed it's your boy a lynn you guys make sure you guys stay safe and stay swaggy and i'm out